Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you saw the picture, is my Sephora haul. And these are the items that I purchased during the Sephora VIB spring sale. And you're probably saying, but Clara, the spring sale is still going on. I know, but I'm done shopping. And I figured if I make this public, then I really will not be tempted anymore. But I've been good for the last three, four days. I haven't even looked on there because I don't want to be tempted. I purchased this on the first day that um, the Sephora VIB sale started. Um, I was going to do mainly skincare, but I went through my backup drawer prior to putting um, placing my order. And I realized that I didn't need as much skincare as I thought that I did. And I had saved some um, gift cards that I have for Sephora for this one sale. So I decided to go ahead and splurge on whatever it is that I wanted. So as you can see, it's not a humongous box. So even though this is full and it's really nice stuff, but I don't feel like I overdid it but i forgot to bring scissors with me because i'm gonna need it to get into some of the packages i'll be right back okay so let me start this video by saying that a few weeks ago when i first started my quarantine being stuck in my house and i live in a very small home my husband and i um, downsized when our daughter was married and then my son purchased a house and he moved in on his own so we downsized to a smaller home. So my house is very small. I do not have a beauty room. I actually film in my dining room. And um, it is very difficult for me to film videos. It can be very challenging at times. But anyways, after being in this house for about, I would say five, six weeks. I hope you guys don't judge me. But this is very necessary. Do you hear the noise in the background? You hear that? That's my dad moving in his chair that is so close to the other. I have a leather love seat that is they kind of hook together. But if they're super close together when you move, one of them moves, it makes that noise. I told him I was gonna film. So instead of editing that out, I decided to pour myself a glass of wine and chill out. Please don't judge me. I don't overdo it. But these are very special, special and crucial times. And I deserve actually a bottle with a long straw. But I thought you guys would frown upon that. You'd probably say, wow, we thought this lady was so classy this whole time. And look at her. I normally do not film drinking wine, but I think that these are special times, therefore it calls for special wine. Let's get into my Sephora haul before I forget what I was doing this video about. So this is the box, and I have peeked inside because I wanted to make sure nothing was broken, everything was in there, you know, but I haven't tried or swatched anything. So the only thing I did was take out they do the worst job of packaging it just had like some crumpled up paper on top of this it's amazing how more stuff doesn't get messed up now i haven't opened these so i don't know if any of these are broken and i love really do love because i think it's so nice the pat mcgrath packaging this is so messy so i'm going to leave this for the end so that i can throw the lovely sequence in the box otherwise i will be sweeping yeah, hey, I said that even after some wine. Sweeping uh, sequence off my floor for the next three weeks. And I really don't want to do that. So there's three packages from Pat McGrath. I'm going to leave that for the end. So I'm going to tell you the skincare that I purchased first. I did repurchase my Algenist. And this is a complete eye renewal balm. I use this at night. I love this. And this is probably the fifth jar that I have used of Algenist. The one that I'm using now, it was in my backup drawer. I thought I was totally out and I had not been using it for like two weeks because I was waiting for the sale. And then I found it in my backup drawer. Amazing when you find it there when you actually look. 
So I'm using that one, but I still purchased one so that when I run out of that one, I have one in the backup drawer. I do not like to be without this. This is very, very emollient. It feels amazing on your eyes. I use it all around my orbital bone and all the way up to, I don't put it close to my lashes because I do use a serum for my lashes, but all around here and I just take it all the way out. I've been using this, like I said, for a long time and it's the best, one of the best. It's not the only one I use at night. I don't like it for during the day because it is too emollient and then my concealer moves around it doesn't stay in place so i use something lighter during the day but this is amazing okay and i d i am using my last uh c tango eye cream from drunk elephant so i did purchase a backup and i use this one as a serum i don't use it as an eye cream i use this this is a very thin consistency and I use it in the morning and at night. This is the first thing that I put under my eyes. I let it sink in as I'm putting some stuff around my face. And then I go back with my eye cream. And at night, I use the retinol, the eye retinol also under my eyes. Yeah, I'm high maintenance. What can I say? When you're 64, you have to pile it on. You can't just use one, okay? Those of you that are not 64 yet, don't judge me. You'll be there. You'll understand. All right, I tried a couple of different new things. This was from The Ordinary, and this is the Multi-Peptide Serum for Hair Density. I don't know how good this is. The Ordinary is very affordable, so I wanted to try it. It says a concentrated serum for hair that looks thicker, denser, fuller, and healthier. My hair needs all the help that it can get. So I decided to, um, to try it. It does have a lot of peptides and... You know, I figured why not? So I don't even know how you have to use it or how you use it. I haven't really looked into it. But see directions. Apply a few drops or as needed once daily. Uh, so that's not bad. It says ideally at bedtime to clean dry scalp. And you're supposed to massage it in. So I'm going to try this. Um, I just hope I don't lose a little bit I have left. That would be sad. Okay, then this is also new. This is from Drunk Elephant. This is also for my hair. And this is a TLC Happy Help, Happy Scalp Scrub. And I guess this is um, it's supposed to refine and volumize. Wow, I can say the word after drinking wine. I normally cannot say volumize. All right, volumizing. Look at that. All I needed was a glass of wine and I can pronounce words. All right, so this has 10% AHA, BHA blend. And this has plant oils and the pH is 3.7. And let me see. And the reason I can't read it is not because I've been drinking too much wine. It's because the letter is very small. I can, I can never read it. But look, I have glasses here. Hold on. I bought me some of those blue light glasses. Anyway, these are, and they're also reading glasses. The directions, where are you? Suggested use. Before showering, when hair is dry, apply directly to dry scalp and massage. Allow to sit for 10 minutes, rinse thoroughly, and follow with Cocomino shampoo. Okay, which I'm sure is their shampoo, but... You know, I use Shea Moisture, which is supposed to be a kind on the scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the worst shampoo you can use and 1 being the best as far as bad ingredients. Um, Shea Moisture is like a 3. So, and I really do like that one because it it works well with my hair. So anyway, I'll be using it with this. They just want to sell you their shampoo. Okay, whatever. Okay, this is also new, and this is from uh, Use to the People, and this is the Yerba Mate Resurfacing Energy Facial, and this is for your face, of course, and I wanted to try it. I also bought a new, um, a new one from uh, Good Molecules that is a pineapple um, exfoliant, and I want to try it. This is very nice. It's a pretty large, you know, jar. Say a glass jar. Let me see how it smells. I'm going to be using it, so I'm going to open it. 
This is what it looks like. Doesn't smell bad. It smells pretty good. It smells like um it smells herbal, almost like Elemis. If you know what Elemis smells like, this is in the same family. Not as strong as Elemis, and you you can feel the little scrubbies, but they're not rough. But I want to try this on my face. And I normally only do this like maybe once or twice a week. I usually put it in my shower and then when I remember, and it's usually about once a week, I just do, you know, especially where my pores are, my forehead, my cheeks, and my chin. And I use something like this. But I wanted to try this because this has really good ingredients. And I like you to the people. It says how to use. Where are my glasses? Okay, so this is apply on an even layer to clean damp skin. Leave on for two to three minutes. Oh, that's not bad. I hate the ones you have to leave on for like 10 minutes. And allowing enzymes to activate. Add water and gently massage in circular motions to complete resurfacing treatment. Rinse out. Use one to three times a week. I really don't need it more than, um, I don't feel like I need it more than once a week because I do use my um, Clarisonic and to clean my face so i really don't think that i have clogged pores but it's just nice to me to use something like this to remove any dead skin or anything like that you have okay so this is just the skincare stuff that i purchased so now let's go to the fun stuff so i love um busy art and um, I actually purchased recently, well, like when it was released, but I got that one from Beautylish. The Spritz, I think it's called Palette. And I think it's very beautiful. And then I realized that I didn't have this one, the Warm Edit. And these are the uh, Vizier Professional Makeup Paris Warm Edit. And these are the smaller ones. These are the 12 pans, but they're small pans. But they're a lot more affordable than their bigger palettes. And these are so pretty. I own quite a few of them. Viseart is probably my favorite. And I probably, you probably guys hear that all the time when I use it. But Viseart really is an outstanding formula. Um, this is the Warm Edit pa uh, palette, which is beautiful. It is gorgeous. And it does have a mirror. And these are great for traveling because they take up no room and you can make several looks in one palette. You don't have to take that many palettes with you. Okay, the other palette that I got is the Viseart Rose Edit. And it's also one of the smaller ones. Oh, I have the, the um, exfoliant dried and I have the little scrubbies stuck to my hand. Okay, and this one is like in a rose. The other one was more like in a red. And they all come with like a little cover on top. And this is the palette. Look how pretty this is. And they're both right up there with what I love to wear. So I'm very happy to own these. Okay, the next thing that I purchased was, I have been wanting this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick for a long time. This is Bond Girl, and I really, really, really have been wanting it. So I figured the best time to get it was now with a, um, a discount code. That is a beautiful shade. And it's one of her mattes. So I got Bond Girl, and then I got the Rust Palette from Melt Cosmetics. Look at the packaging, how beautiful. This is so pretty, and this is like um, raised. I mean, you can actually feel the texture when you go over the letters. And I do not have the uh, stacks. I don't really care for the stacks because to me, they're hard to store. I'd rather have a palette. So I've never been tempted to buy one of their stacks. But this palette is beautiful. 
It does have a mirror and these are the colors. So pretty. I can't wait to play with this. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, and then the last thing is the stuff that I purchased from Pat McGrath. And we are going to open that now that I can put all that mess inside the box. So I purchased a couple of her, um, what are they called? The Eye Ecstasy Submersive Eyeshadow Palette. These are the little ones, the ones that are like, what, five shades. And they've been out for a while, and I've actually been wanting them. But um, I didn't know the quality they were going to be, and I wanted to wait till some people reviewed them, and I've seen so many great reviews on these little palettes. So the packaging is not the most expensive one in the world, but I don't care. What I care about was inside. Well, and not so much the packaging. Is this taped? No. There we go. This is one of them. This is the Submersive, I guess. Just very, very pretty. Just the brighter colors. And then this one is this Sublime, which I think this is a more neutral one. Well, I did good not getting a mess all over the place. This is the neutral one, which is also very, very pretty. And these are normally $28 and they were 20% off, which even the regular price, I don't think is bad for Pat McGrath. And then this is the last set of uh, the, it's called the Opulust Gloss. And this is the uh, version Sublime Sparkle Trio. And I have the other ones that she has released in the past, but I didn't have this one. So, and it's the same kind of packaging with the, uh, this one's gonna be messier because these things come like in a little holder, which I need to take them out of first. I love her glosses. And they're very good size. And these are 25, I think, the regular for the three. They're beautiful. Let me see if I can swatch them for you. Look how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. So pretty. This one is in Naked. I have my glasses, Clara. Why don't you wear them? Okay. Naked Rose. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at a pretty lavender. This one is in L Lavendary. Lavendary, okay. Oh, this is pretty too. All three of them are beautiful. They all have like glitter on the uh, in the gloss, and this one is called Dreamscape, which is the one on the very top. Dreamscape, Lavendary, and Naked Rose. Those are so pretty. So anyways, that's it. That was my purchase for my VIB sale. Um, I don't think I was that bad. I actually did pretty good. I got everything I wanted the first try and then I haven't looked. Like I said, I haven't looked anymore because I don't want to buy anymore. I really don't need anymore. So anyway, if you guys order something from the VIB sale, let me know what you're getting. I mean, I did see uh, other palettes that are beautiful. But I really don't need any more new palettes at this time. So anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Salute to all of you that are home. And by now, I'm sure we're all just tired of being stuck in our home, right? I mean, I understand how important it is. But wow, the longer this goes on, not that I'm ready to throw in the towel 
and, and do everything that we have been able to accomplish so far by staying home. But you really do get cabin fever after a while. So anyway, guys, salute to all of you. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you on my next one. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>